Item number SCP-114-KO Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-114-KO is contained in a 15 meter by 15 meter by 3 meter containment chamber with acrylic walls in area B2 of Site 104. The floor is covered in a 20 centimeter layer of humus planted with perennial flowers. SCP-114-KO soil is to be kept at a humidity between 60% and 75%. Three liters of sugar and iron-rich aqueous solution should be fed to SCP-114-KO once every three days. If SCP-114-KO shows signs of aggression, personnel are to immediately vacate the area and placate SCP-114-KO with a solution of 50 mg of phosphate dissolved in 2 liters of water. Description SCP-114-KO is a species of insect specifically similar to the Korean firefly, but approximately one-fifth the size of typical members of its species. SCP-114-KO has a lifespan of approximately two months, consisting of a larval stage, four to five weeks, and an adult stage, three to four weeks. SCP-114-KO's most distinguishing feature are two protrusions on the tip of its abdomen that appear to be the source of its bioluminescence. Unlike its non-anomalous counterparts, SCP-114-KO's larvae can survive in water polluted higher than grade 11, and adults do not require a body of water at all. SCP-114-KO prefers food sources containing metals such as iron, or specifically aluminium. SCP-114-KO also has an apparent craving for phosphorus, and will show signs of malnutrition if not regularly supplied with it. SCP-114-KO emits a light stronger than non-anomalous fireflies and can freely manipulate the light wavelength between 380 to 780 nanometers. SCP-114-KO flickers every four seconds, seemingly to notify others of its species where it or its prey is. SCP-114-KO's bioluminescence has been demonstrated to attract other instances, leading a group lifestyle. Instances often respond to human vocabulary, coordinating as a swarm to form images. This behavior suggests that SCP-114-KO is capable of understanding both human language and cultural concept to an unknown extent. Metallic elements consumed by SCP-114-KO are first used for bioluminescence and then excreted as waste after three hours. This excrement is made of the substances consumed by the subject, excluding phosphorus, and trace amounts of moisture. The excrement has varying degrees of strength, but is generally steadier than most conventional alloys. The Foundation is currently investigating methods to refine this material for industrial use. SCP-114-KO was first found simultaneously in three junkyards, an abandoned warehouse, and a graveyard on Deep Mountain, all located in Deep Gu Deep Sea, Republic of Korea. Witnesses reported blue green balls of shimmering light floating around a junkyard, a white cloth-like glowing figure appearing and disappearing above a grave, glowing axes, sledgehammers, and knives cutting across thin air in and out of the warehouse. Investigation revealed a mass brawl between two local gangs in the vicinity. Deep dead human bodies were found buried outside the warehouse.